APHA Executive Director Dr. Georges Benjamin is here now. It's nice to see you again. Glad, absolutely glad to be here. We've made it to this year's annual meeting. Tell us a little bit about the challenges of making this year's meeting happen in this new virtual format. The, as uh, January 1st uh, approached, we all celebrated and then we were dutifully planning to have a, a great in-person meeting in San Francisco. Um, and then of course, as the pandemic began to uh, reveal itself, we said, well, you know, uh, maybe we'll be able to have more of a hybrid meeting. So we began pivoting to a meeting where, you know, folks would be in, in San Francisco, but we, we figured there'd be a couple thousand people that would have to watch this uh, our meeting from afar for one reason or another. And then of course, as it, it progressed, we recognized very quickly, we had to move to an all virtual meeting. Uh, that's been an interesting experience. We had to, you know, obviously get out of contracts, we had to work with all of our critical business partners on making this transition uh, and uh, make some decisions about, you know, how we're going to do it, what platform we're going to use and ask ourselves, would anybody come? Um, so it, it's been a, quite a transition. And I just got to pat um, both my staff on the back and our members on the back because we're going to have um, probably close to 9,000 of your closest friends um, by Zoom. Um, and by the way, this is not your, your cousin's Zoom meeting. This is going to be an amazing meeting with lots of stuff going on, networking. We're going to try to recreate as much of that face-to-face -face meeting as we can. What are you especially excited about during APHA 2020? I'm always excited about the ability to share um, new science, new experiences with others. In 1918, um, APHA, of course, was impacted by the great influenza pandemic. And that year we had to move our meeting um, in terms of dates. We went from late October to December. And that was quite an experience as I understand it for our members back then. But it was very important that the public health community um, work with the medical community to understand what was happening with the pandemic back then. And that's the case today. So we're pretty excited about the fact that we'll have the opportunity to really begin to figure out how we get this nation out of this terrible, terrible situation that we have ourselves. Uh, based on science, uh, is gonna be a very, very important part of the meeting. How has COVID-19 affected APHA and how is APHA working to continue succeeding past COVID? The, the staff in COVID, um, obviously we've, like everyone else, we've moved to a virtual working environment. Um, and one of the things we've learned is that we can actually do it. Um, but it but it has taken a toll. You know, we we, we found out we like to work with one another. We like each other. We're family. Um, and the same thing with our members. So it, it has affected us um, in some positive ways in which we've learned how to work in a remote environment. And we think that there's an opportunity to build this kind of engagement so we can more actively engage members and the public in the future. Uh, but it's, it's taken a, an emotional toll. Um, but on the other hand, we have become uh, very, very visible. As a, as, a, as a field, much more visible than public health has ever been. And we've taken some hits for it, but we've had some accomplishments. And it hasn't all gone smoothly, but APHA has been right in the middle of everything that's happened. And we have been a real force in trying to move this nation forward in addressing this uh, pandemic. Let's talk a little bit about how racism is a public health issue and the effect it's having in today's climate. Well, let me get a shout out to past President Kamala Jones. Um, as some of you know, during her presidency year, she made a, this a quest for her. Um, and she laid the sea work for this. And now we're tracking as an association, many, many, many jurisdictions, which have declared racism as a public health problem. We think what it's done is it's raised visibility. Uh, the tragic murder of George Floyd, um, of course, precipitated a lot of the national effort around this. But again, it says, shows that APHA is right in the front um, at the right time to make our case around racism and how it impacts people. And if you look at COVID, at the end of the day, the root cause of the disparities in COVID is racism. All right, now let's look ahead. Tell us about the plans for next year's meeting. Well, you know, the theme for next year is creating the healthiest nation, um, improving social connectedness. And that's a very, very important theme. We think about what we've been doing here um, during COVID is that we've been telling people to be physically um, distant, but socially connected. And so in many ways, um, that theme 
It's going to be about the rebirth of America. It's as we emerge from this pandemic, APHA is going to again be on the forefront of leading the nation in a thoughtful way about how we care for one another, how we build a new social compact for health, how do we engage one another to support one another, and how we move from this terrible, terrible divisiveness we're seeing right now as a nation um, to move forward. And quite frankly, I'm very optimistic that um, the nation will do this and APHA will be right there as we do.